happy 420. Let's get right into it. First up, we have AMC is sitting at 19.43%. Next up, we got GME. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this one. This one's GameStop. Won't stop. 19.75. Let's look up these uh, high sentiment ones. HYMC. Yo, hot and right. Good morning. 6.75%, and it's on the threshold list there. And we'll go into our BBBY. We always like to look into these ones just because they have some uh, some ties with AMC and GME. 21.38%. Next up, let's hit this FOMO list. We got WINT at the top. Two point six three percent. Get ready for this one. CRXT. We've been talking about this one for a few days, and we were talking about this one in Bulldog Trading's Discord uh, trading floor. We have a live trading floor there. If you guys are just tuning in and watching this video separately, we also have a twenty four seven stock channel that is going right now. Stock and crypto. So this one went up. Okay, this one went up. This is getting written down again. So. Just let you all know, CRX team I, that we first looked in on it last week was at 280% current short interest. It went up to 309.54%. Uh, and now we're sitting at 442%. And I'm talking about that because it's kind of the largest that I've seen so far. So I don't know what's going on with that exactly. But hey, some eyes on it, maybe. IO, another old horse here. We've been talking about IO a little bit in that uh, trade for So this is fun to see. FOMO list is looking good today. 13.7 on IO. Lyra is next. L-Y-R-A. L-Y-R-A. Lyra is sitting at 2.2. That's up 18% on the day. TBLT, now this one was a runner yesterday as well, so it is going. Yesterday, I remember it had resistance at 26 or 27 cents. It was up in there somewhere. Dollar $1.25, and, uh, it, or not dollar $1.25, 1.25%. $1 and just looking at its price, it's at 23 cents now, so it must have had some type of big drop. I was not watching TBLT, but... Uh, WWR is next. Westwater Resources. 5.47% SLS we're going to hit. We got here. Salas Life Sciences. 4.36%. IMAB. Am I? That's short here. 10.48%. Uh, that's interesting. So I imagine my, my brain is flopping a little bit there because here is CTXR and we have CRXT up at the top. So we're just same same kind of, uh, yeah, it is a little bit same letter. So, but CTXR, let's be careful. I'm typing this one. And that's Citius, Citius Pharmaceuticals. 7.9%. Last one on our FOMO list. And in case you're wondering what our FOMO list, these are the top movers in the morning at the uh, moment. So ICCM, I'm not, is that Ice Cure? Yeah, it is this one. Okay. And nice way to end our FOMO uh, list there. A little cherry on top with uh, not available on there but that is the thing we tune in right away in our mornings right at the 7 a.m mark right when ortex updates and some of that information is there and uh some of it's not but we keep on checking in and it is the most up-to-date stuff that we have available as retail traders so thank you ortex that is going to wrap up our i think i keep pointing the wrong way our FOMO list. It's going to wrap up our FOMO list for the moment now let's check out over here and we're going to look at a couple of our highest volume uh stocks on our watch list so far now granted right now it's 7 10 a.m on a somewhat of a holiday we'll see if we have a lot of volume um there's not a lot on some of these let's look at where the volume is so far neo has some volume so let's check in there neo how's that short looking 
I think we'll also look in at the streaming sector's short uh, interest and see if there's been any movement there when it's come to uh, streaming services. This is uh, April 20th, 2022. Yesterday, we had Netflix earnings and the stock did uh, move downwards 25% uh, and other streaming services were tied somewhat to that. So we might take a look in and see if there's been any short movement. Let's look up the INDO. This is also sitting there on our watch list to the side. INDO is at 19.15%. Next up, let's look at uh, Mullen, M-U-L-N. I know Mullen has a lot of eyes lately. 10.98% on the threshold list. Let's look at C-E-N-N. That's at 5.17%. And uh, we'll keep making it down the list, but just since I was just talking about it, let's go ahead and look at Netflix. Let's see, NFLX there, that's what it was. 1.7, and you know, it's a bigger stock, so it's going to be harder. Roku, for instance, let's see what's going on there. Five point seven four percent. Nothing uh, big on there. Let's continue down our watch list. Let's look at our BBIG play. That every day that passes, BBIG is coming up closer to something uh, with its TYDE, the Tide uh, News. I would check that out. Not financial advice, but just something to look into. Seventeen point one six percent on BBIG. Let's look up CEI. CEI is a Kind of a, a fun one lately, Camber Energy. It's been uh, lots of ups, lots of downs, but you know that could sometimes be fun to to check out as a uh, you know maybe a scalping style uh, trade. You know, HYMC. We already looked at Sens. Is not much in the volume, but I remember Sens being very interesting when it comes to short interest. So let's go ahead and knock Sensionics out there at twenty point eight nine percent on Sens. And we might as well throw IRNT on there. It's at the bottom of our watch list. Looking lonely. Let's give it some love. IRNT, what you got going on? Ah, it's at 5.16%. Okay, so that's going to wrap up our just checking out here and there stuff. But, uh, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. ATER. We got to check out ATER. What am I thinking? ATER has been a wild runner the past two weeks, been a lot of fun with it. Ups and downs. On threshold list, still 39.83%. Speaking of threshold lists, let's go ahead and check in on that one now. So we are into our bonus segment of the short report. Again, the best way, not financial advice, but one of the, the ways that I would get into some of this information, if you're tuning into these videos, uh, I'm looking almost like, I know it's funny to say, but you know those seeing eye books where you would like kind of pull them away and you would see the image you know after you like just stared at it and you let your eyes glaze over in a weird way that's almost what i do with the market in my mind's eye you know it's like you kind of like you take in all of this information especially from lists like this threshold list or high short interest list or high cost to borrow list or how many of the shares are on loan and then you just kind of like start pulling back and seeing what symbols keep coming up over and over again and then i like to check out their uh charts and see if i'm attracted to the way the setup looks you know uh it's because that's the thing it's like not just because you see a ticker symbol over and over doesn't mean it's going to move but then once you check it out and stuff it could be a cool confluence of things you know all right here we go threshold list going down we got ater beyond community west siren guard force highcroft jasper longevaron mcleod mullen Pathfinder, we got Shift Pixie, uh, S Y T A, Ota, and VLAN. Let's go ahead and we're going to check out the most trending right now on our stock twits info. We got Netflix at the top there. We got uh, Dojalon Mars is actually really making a lot of news. Uh, that's interesting. Walt Disney. Safe Moon V2, we got ApeCoin, Jasmine, Roku, Facebook, Procter & Gamble just reported earnings, ASML is next. Here we've got the most active, this was in uh, yesterday uh, coming into today, so this is 
I would say the most active when you tune in, in the mornings that are 7 uh, a.m. time is a good window into the past 12-ish or 24 hours or something, right? Uh, Netflix, ATER, Spy, Mullen, AMC, Twitter, CEI, Tesla, Nile, and Jasmine Coin is still rolling there. And then we've got the one that I'm always saying that is kind of enjoying, you know, I kind of enjoy this one. These are the symbols that get added to people's lists uh, in the past 24 hours, and these are the ones that made the biggest hops. This, again, is working off of a little bit of yesterday's blend into today, right? So we do see some of the runners from yesterday still on here. We see at Netflix, SEV. A-T-E-R, C-M-P-I, that's C-M-P-I, that was that one I think that rose like 300% yesterday, uh, T-W-T-R, S-T-S-S also had a cool run, C-R-X-T is the one that's on our FOMO list right now, we got Tesla, Plug, and Borks, and Borks was on there uh, yesterday, much like uh, Bjorks, but Borks. Last thing we wanted to do in our list segment is we'll check out our Ape Wisdom. Ape Wisdom is a, a blending of all of our Reddit and 4chan chatter, right? So we see here that Netflix has gone up 1,869% in mentions over the past 24 hours. So again, those are the types of things I like to look at. I mention all the time that one of the fundamentals that I believe in companies these days are mentions, are, are how many eyes are on it. Uh, retail sentiment, that type of thing. So we got Netflix, Ethereum, GameStop, Spy, Tesla, AMC, Meta, Twitter, Disney's still up in there, QQQs, Apple, SST, NVIDIA, AMD, Arkea, Amazon, Iron Source, IBM, Microsoft, International Paper up 1600%. I have yet to say that one. So that's the thing, like, you know, pulling out, just trying to see which ones are interesting. I also haven't said IBM, I think, in the top ones up here. So that was uh, interesting to see. Uh, Alphabet, C3AI, Cassava, Warner Brothers Discovery, the Travel Centers, Robin Hood, and we'll chill there on our 30 there for Forrester. Okay, and super, 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 super bonus content at the end here. Let's just check out the real-time Google trend information. We got Ezra Miller at the top, CD Guadalajara, Club Tijuana, uh, Dog World Chihuahua, Florida, and this right here is just checking out and seeing if there's any, maybe some, uh, again, a lot of people talking, a lot of people typing up into the Google, you know, it takes a lot to push these things up into our top searches, so maybe they are, you know, related to some pocketbook movement too. We got the Walt Disney Company, Netflix, Robert Eager Stock, oh yeah, Student Loan Debt, I think it was something like 40,000, um, nah, that might be wrong, I think it might be wrong, nah, I won't say a full number, but there's been some student loan forgiveness. Here we go. We got a can of bees, uh, 420 day and industry. So maybe the uh, 420 industry, perhaps the marinara one. I don't know. Not financial advice. Last year, I don't remember it 100%. I think we were really watching Sundial last year. Uh, but uh, this year, things, uh, of course, are changing uh, when it comes to that sector. We'll check in on that sector and see what's up. Walt Disney Company, Rob DeSantis... Uh, but the earnings and earnings are happening. Yep, yeah, a lot of cannabis talk on there. All right, cool. So there is our info for Wednesday. Four twenty. Happy four twenty, you all. I hope you enjoyed the short report for Rock in the Morning at Bulldog Trading. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. All right, y'all. So thank you so much for tuning into that. That was our live recording of the short report.